so that the the when you are rotoscoping it's quite um, easy as well if you are rotoscoping the whole hand and you want to do some tracking markers uh, it can be a little bit more difficult so if I now um, go in um, to my uh, node here and if I just press um, O okay so I've got my rotor node there so let me just uh, click that and just bring it out here and let's view my work here let me just bring this down a little bit so I can see what's happening um, so if I play this back there you go so we're gonna we're gonna start um, putting some tracking markers um, on these um, uh, on the tip on the middle on and on the top bottom so and I'm gonna label them all separately as well so you can see so if I can play back this footage that's starting from here and I can visually see the whole hand and then you've got this little thumb comes up there as well we're gonna rotate that as well and I think um, this looks good so now what we're gonna do is double click on here and uh, firstly what we're gonna do is try to um, go on our bezier Two, which is here um, and then I'm going to actually experiment with two um, so I'm going to do a B spline on these two fingers and I'm going to do bezier on here so then you can see two different kind of techniques as well okay so and then if I zoom in here and you can see a little bit of kind of a feather happening around so I'm going to just touch on that as well so that at least you will understand how it works um, now what I'm going to do is simply go on Bezier. Let's do some points. So I'm going to start working on my points here. So one, two. You can see that I can just simply do that. Um, and then obviously you can see the curves, the edges, kind of right. So just bring that in here. Um, there is a lot of ways to. Um, um, to do this so if I show you this way now and then I can go in so I'm, let me just uh, kind of bring that out a bit more and let's do that and then I can just close from here there you go so if I just do this and I'm going to close that so you can see that uh, uh, very less points as well here so if I just zoom in I can just now tighten up my my shape okay there you go do for me so that's my first auto done now I um, a, a, as, as you know in, in in the previous videos we wanted to see how a rotor looks so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna grab a a kind of color node pressing C on your keyboard I can just kind of connect this here so at the moment nothing happens so if you just double click on our color and I'm gonna just kind of uh, offset some of tool so if you just kind of bring that in you can see that the red is coming out nicely uh, and and now you can see the flaws in my in, in, in road scoping still I've got some black just there and that's the key thing where once if you have got your color uh, node here and then you mask it in you then see uh, what is um, what can you do more to this roto uh, shapes so if I just double click on here and and I'm just kind of making sure that that's kind of out a bit more just go in again I can just simply bring that out 
read the end of it. And then if I press on my command key here, if I just kind of bring this here, you can see I can even move it separately so I know where the points are. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with that. There's a slight dip there, but let's see if I can bring this in here. And there we go. That's it. Got it. Okay, so pretty much happy with that. Now what I'm going to do is name them. So uh, I'm uh, I'm going to just create a folder, um, and I'm going to just name this as my pinky finger. Oops. Okay. And I'm going to bring this in here so that's part of the folder and I'm going to just again do because I'm 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 using tips so so I'm going to have uh this is going to be my uh tip tip Okay, and I can now go in here. Remember, we were in in the lecture. We were talking about um, creating a little bit more feather here. So if I just bring that in, and if I just move that around, you can see that's that's where it covers. That's a that's a good sign for us to that we've covered that. Perfect. Keep going. And again, you can individually move this around as well, which is really, really good. Okay, so pulling out your soft edges, um, and then you can just hold your control key. Remember, if you're working on PC, it's control and command is on your actual Mac itself so uh, that is can bring that down a little bit uh, there you go okay so this can this is a time-consuming exercise but it's rewarding I can I can guarantee you that um, you will see quite a lot of um, people in industry they 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 are uh, um, this is probably their first job when they when they get a job in, in the VFX industry um, there we go so I think I'm pretty much happy with that okay and let's now um, view this in our alpha channel so re remember we in, in the first video we I've, I've I've gone through how we can preview our work so let me just go in and have a look see if I just uh, kind of bring this in so if you just go on, click on your rotor node, and if you just press uh, 1, and at the moment there's nothing there, if I just press A here, you can see your actual alpha. So at the moment it's not moving because uh, we haven't animated our alpha channel yet. So uh, if I just zoom in and you can see some feathers happening here as well. So that's, that's good. So now if I go back on my... Um, normal uh, color there so if you just kind of press on a and i can still see some of the stuff let me just go in here and just increase that a little bit more there you go i mean you can always do your tweaking all the time you can always come back but once you start animating um you don't need to start touching that so the best thing is make sure that you're really happy with uh, with your feathers and and your actual shape itself otherwise um, uh, the wise is that if you if you are if you feel that uh, your your rotor is not properly animated and you still got some 
wobbly bits happening that means you need to redo the thing so it's better if you kind of make that decision now that if you are happy with with this okay so now I'm gonna just simply um, now create a a, a a a tracking marker at the moment if I play this you can see that obviously um, last time when we were we, we were looking at what what we did was I kind of uh, literally moved my um, my rotor something like that and it did animate so if I just bring that in here you can see that it did animate uh, but what what I'm going to do this time is literally create a tracking uh, for for my rotoscope so let me just undo this let me just go here and you can always click on minus here on on this flying key tool so just click on here and it goes back on here okay so that's my animation there's nothing there so re remember whenever you see something blue on these um, channel um, on this uh, key points that means you there's something happening there's something like a um, uh, animation so now what I'm gonna do is simply uh, start creating a, a a tracking so if I just increase this um, um, increase my there you go so you will be needing quite a lot of space to to create more trackers so so the uh, so the principle what, what, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna use one row to know doing uh, with pinky finger, middle finger, um, uh, sorry, pinky finger, um, ring finger, then middle finger, and then, um, and then you you you, uh, you got your index finger and thumb. So and then, well, I'm going to separate our our trackers. So, start with what I'm going to do is simply uh, go on my tab key, and press track, and you can oh. And you can see automatically I've got tracker there. Okay, that's my tracker. What I'm going to do first thing is just simply connect this tracker to the actual footage. Okay, and once you've connected, uh, we can see that now what we're going to do is I'm going to just simply go in my color to actually I, because I want to see where where's the best part I can go and track. So if I just double click on here and press D. That means I am kind of um, 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 for for the time being. I'm kind of disabling this node here so that I can see what's happening clearly. Okay, so if I now double click on this tracker point, and if I take this off and double click that again, and that's the settings you have here. So you've got your settings, you've got your transform, you've got your information about if you want to put in detail. So for me, I'm going to just make this as my pinky finger. Oops. Okay, and if I just press enter. So that's the name of my tracker node, first of all. And what I'm going to do is simply add tracking points. So I'm going to just, because I've analyzed the footage already, and I can see that uh, this is very clear. So I'm going to add a tracker point somewhere down here, somewhere here, and somewhere here. So I'm going to add three tracking points here. Okay, okay so just to recap, uh, what I'm going to do is just, um, if I add a tracking um, point here, so just to give you a quick kind of overview so you've got your main uh, tracking anchor here okay and this anchor um, is a, um, is a single point that collects um, uh, the position data of pattern box um, and then you've got your your pattern box here this this box here and then you've got your search area where uh, where it's looking for for the next frame so basically the algorithm is quite cleverly kind of written here where the tracking points controls that defines um, uh, these three elements okay so once you have selected add track and of course um, you can name this track as well so I can I just wanted to because for every um, finger I will be having my separate tracker um, so what what the plan is really um, name uh, this so I'm gonna just uh, say pinky finger okay so that's my tracker 
name done. So I know that that will be obviously connected straight here. So what I'm going to do is if I press on the F key to just make sure that it, it goes back to normal or H key that will kind of cover this uh, the screen. So basically we'll just bring it down here. If I just press H or F, that's your size there. So now what I'm going to do is if I can double click here, if I just uh, uh, deselect that. And if I can go on my tracker node, um, I'm just increasing some points and I'm going to just bring it down somewhere in the middle of this tip. So if you can just see that what I'm doing here is I've got a really nice kind of uh, anchor point is right in the middle. Okay, and then I've got my main um, uh, uh, pattern box here so that's our pattern box and then I've got my search area box okay and let's move on looking at our tracking uh, node tool toolbar here so you can see that you can even add a tracker node from here or you can click add tracker node it's really up to you how you want to work on that and then this part here from this point to this point is called the tracking buttons and then you can obviously uh, clean tracking data from this point to that point here. And you know the great thing about Nuke is if you just hover your mouse around on any keys, it will it will tell you what exactly the key is, which is quite a useful thing. Um, just wanted to re retreat on this um, toolbar. So so basically you've got your this point here is basically track forward track the frame forward this one is track forward this button here and this one says track range forward and then again uh, you've got your stop of course and then you've got your track uh, frame backward track backward and then uh, track range backward um, so now what we're going to do is once we've set our trackers okay I'm, I'm i'm pretty happy with that i'm going to show you a manual way because especially when you're working with very less frames um i would like to just do it like quickly in a in a, in a manual way by just simply clicking on this button here and you can see as soon as you click i've got my tracker moving but you always watch this screen here which which will give you an indication if the tracker has slided a little bit but at the moment we are we are pretty much okay and you can see that the movement is going really good uh, go let me just bring it down a bit zoom out so that we can see perfect I'm happy with that perfect so I'm now happy with this node here what we want lovely so I'm happy with this tracker now let's create another tracker which I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna just create click on here and I'm gonna just literally bring the tracker here and I'm proud I'm just gonna open the area a little bit so that we can just simply track this again uh, what I'm going to do is simply press play this time and you can see that it's very nicely done um, tracking point it's gone on the black zone let me just change this uh, thing quickly so it's still it's still 41 so let me just press on the system it's for, it is 40 0 to 40 and if I just kind of do that so perfect gone beyond that so just wanted to make sure that that's our keyframe there so from one point to another point so basically it won't it won't go in so if you just double click on here sorry on our on, on our tracker so this time we've got our two trackers there okay perfect we are happy with that I want to create another one somewhere down here um, and and this will be for a finger and, and and you'll see how efficient this is let's go and get another track there we go bring this down here happy with that and i'm going to just simply play it so once we've tracked our our um 
pinky finger so I've got three trackers there at the moment I've got only um, a translation in that so there's a slight rotation uh, within the actual track itself um, so if I'm uh, I'm going to just simply click on the rotation as well uh, but what what really the key thing is how can I check if my trackers are actually um, if it's got a green signal technically so basically if I just click on here and I click on this little signal sign here and I can clearly see that you've got your green dots there which represents the tracking is going well and from here you got the light green and then you got your orange and then goes right red so that means there's something here which needs to be identified so although it looks perfectly there but by rectifying this uh, process you'll see that your your uh, your results will be much more better so to to rectify that what I'm going to do is first first of all um, if I just zoom in a tiny bit of this um, I'm going to go on my curve editor here okay and on my curve editor I'm going to just simply press on my track uh, at the moment it's track one I'm working on and what I need to do is click on this error button here okay so track one remember that that's my track one then I can go to track two so we're gonna go uh, step by step so let's work on track one so track one click on the error and then do a right click on the mouse here okay and then all frames and what it will show you that there are some errors if I just bring that here you can see the error starts from point from from this point onwards and what we need to do is try to rectify that problem so we can start from from here and what we're going to do is grab this reference point here so if I just grab that okay and now go back once you can see that I can start rectifying that problem straight away okay and then again I can go forward that's my reference there keep going one by one and it is a time consuming but it will give you a really better results you see the the actual file is uh, the uh, the wave uh, the the actual pattern file is actually drop, dropping down uh, the actual uh, curve editor is coming down uh, the way it should be so if I just keep going so I'm pretty much happy now so there we go so uh, that will be fine now let's move on to another tracker here same principle let's let let's click on it and you can see that from here the tracking point was fine and then it just obviously jumps right high there and then it goes back into the green which is fine so we can just take that as a reference file reference point sorry uh, bring that in and then grab that and then we need to just keep going back see that so I'm just bringing my pointers back there we go okay let's have a look at your uh, still some work to be done there keep going okay I'm pretty much happy with this we got a green signal there and our last tracker was here if I just go back on here okay the same principle applies here so I've got three trackers there I'm gonna just literally now bring this down here from this point so let's get the reference uh, point there again let's go on the curve editor and I'm looking at tracker 3 uh, let's click on this point pointing down go to error right click all frames and you can see that there's a huge jump from starting from this point so let's go back just get the grabber again so click on here and then I'm gonna go back and then edit that in and there we go so now what we're doing is creating a much more better result here um, 
pretty much I'm I'm happy with that. Let me just go in a little bit. There we go. That's perfectly fine. So now Okay, so once we have are happy with our uh, tracker and obviously it's really um, uh, it's 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 quite a tight tracker so what we're going to be doing is now uh, we're going to just simply click on here and link if I just go on my rotor one so link my uh, tip finger the top one with my tracker node here so basically this is going to be transferred so this data here will be transferred into my rotor node so how we do that so if I just click on here make sure that you s your starting point is zero and you go on the translation here and then simply click on this little animation key uh, okay if you just go hold that around animation menu click here and then link to and then the only thing we've only named as our tracker is pinky finger and I'm going to say translate and what it does that's a quick sign for us that it's translated already and if we can move play this actually, let me just there you go let's uh, give it a, a bit of a buffer there okay it pretty looks quite solid but I could see some some uh, some shift happening so if I just play this back So you so you got your track there, it's working fine. Just around here, you can see if you watch from this point here. If I just come in, and there's a slight shift. So what we can do here, let's uh, let's play the whole. Uh, let's go right the end. That's fine. So so it stays till the end. So it, so it's perfectly from here. From um, frame eight comes in, and then from here frame 41 what I'm going to do is simply move that around so if I'm going to just simply select all of my points and I'm going to just literally move my my setup just a tiny bit so that we know that that's going to be there right so now if I play this back I'm happy with this. So now let's let's kind of view that in uh, as a as an alpha channel. So if I can go back and click on my rotor, press one. At the moment, you can't see anything on the screen, and if you press A for alpha, you can just see that that's my first animation with your tracking. And that's really the the principle of how. Um, um, tracking works with uh, with rotor so now we're gonna now go back again let's stop this uh, let's go back on our main uh, footage and let's start working on um, the middle um, finger now this uh, middle uh, segment so if I just now click on rotor and I can do uh, you just simply click and use Bezier make sure that you starting from the top and then I'm gonna just start working from this point here if I just do a click and this time I'm gonna just create straight edges and I'm gonna show you another way where rather than just simply pressing on it and using the handles I'm gonna just bring some points in okay and these are my points and you can see that at the moment they're all quite cut so basically what I'm going to do is simply select them all and if I press the Z key on my keyboard watch what happens here see that so it start giving you a shape again I can um, press one more so that it gives you a nice curve there and that's another way as well for you to just find your edges first and then you create a cut feed so here as well you can see that I've got I've I've got from this point I can just bring this in a bit there you go again I can just go in slightly there's a slight 
uh, bump there so let me just bring that out or probably just use a, a bit of a, a kind of a feather here there you go uh, let's go back in again and here as well so we, 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 have, we have rectified all of our three trackers and this should be fine so now if I just uh, um, go back here double click and then click on the the transform link to and then um, your 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 tracking name which is pinky finger and translate and now if I play this back okay so this is hardly shifting so that's really good track done so which is really nice so that's really good so now let's go back again and do the last one again click on here um, create your bezier and this time I can just go kind of give it a bit of more there you go. Again, what I'm going to do is select all of them and just press Z. So it just gives a nice curve there. Again, I can move that around, give it a bit more feather. There you go. Uh, just like there, because that can over don't want to overdo it. <coughs> Slight bit. There you go. And again, same principle. What I'm going to do is simply uh, bring my curve in, and I've got my bezier one, bezier two. We're going to name that in a minute. Just double click on here, and then gain link to pinky finger and translate. Okay, so. If I now play this as an alpha, let's have a look. So let's press on the rotor, press one, press A, and that's my first pinky finger done. So if I play this back, okay, there's no uh, jittering, looks fine. That's only the movement, which is absolutely fine. Okay, if I just zoom in, you can see that we have. Uh, use some feather here as well that part uh, which looks perfectly fine so now if I just go back on A go back on our our main footage there so now what I would like you to do is try doing this finger and what I'm going to do is do this finger first and let me just uh, first rename them so if I can just uh, Okay, so I'm going to just simply do my, if I just click on here, I'll say middle, middle segment, and this is my pinky finger, so I'll say, yeah, it's, it's very, very important to name them, and then, because especially if you're working in industry, if you're just sending your script to someone else, uh, they will find it really useful, so that's my tip segment as well uh, spell that wrong okay and that's again pinky and then again for this one as well which is the the bottom okay segment okay so if I just copy all that so that's one done so I'm pretty happy with that so that's one folder there so I'm going to create another folder now which will co which will be called if I just bring that out here if I'm, I'm going to call this now the um, the ring finger 
Okay. 